Well, hello and welcome back to Elden Ring. If you'd like to skip the recap, go to the following time. Part 38 began with the opening of a large door, the finding of nothing inside Godric's throne room. Afterwards, on the other side of the throne room, we headed south-southwest along the wall to grab a sacred tear and meet a man named Fops. For surprisingly an actually small donation of tin wounds, we gained access to Thop's spells, which we promptly bought for 5,000 runes. Wait a minute. Anyways, after that we went west to the Grave Skelly Fields and killed a super strong axe wielding Skelly and took his priceless treasure, a warming stone. Next, we traveled north and stumbled upon a camp. We killed the soldiers, scavenged one of their helmets, and stole the Glint Stone Craftsman's Cookbook 1. We're the good guys. And then I prove we're the good guys by traveling further north, grabbing the lakeside grace, buying three things from the merchant there, the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 11, Estoc Astrologer Staff, and then killing the Nomadic Merchant because we don't have enough money for the rest. And then I take his bell bearings so that we can buy it from a merchant that's closer to home. But you, you know, proving you're the good guy, proving you're the bad guy, they're on the same spectrum. Then we traveled a bit south and swooped around back north as we traversed a ridge on the cliffside atop of which resided some bats in a very dark forest, which was actually kind of neat. This game has a lot of hidden gem areas. But then we went inside Stillwater Cave. Inside Stillwater Cave, we found many things. Crystal Cave Moss, Budding Cave Moss, the Sage Set, the Winged Sword Talisman, which we pulled in the corpse of the cave's boss, the Clean Rot Knight. Then finally, we ended the day with a round of shopping through items that once belonged to somebody else, and that allowed us to acquire the Astrologer set. And now, I have an actual plan today. Uh, we're gonna, like I said, explore this area. Like I, like I said last time. And we're gonna... Uh, I looked at a, another map briefly. There's a spirit spring here. We're gonna jump up that and we're gonna go this way. Because I believe this is a never jail there. And then we're gonna explore over this way. And I believe there's a cave somewhere over here. There's also, I believe, right here. Right. Right. Right there, there's a death bird. And also the cave isn't somewhere over here, it's right here. It's, it's like right there. We're gonna, do, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this. And then if there's time left, we're gonna do that. And that's what it's all about. Oh, all the color seems drained out of this, this area of land, as though someone did something terrible. I wonder who, I wonder what they did. Oh, jeez! What am I doing? Jeez, they... I've never noticed that before. They... 
they give you death blight, apparently. That's creepy. No sloppy. That's okay though, we didn't die. Hello there! Might I interest you in some pain and misery? Oh jeez. Not for me. I'm not interested in that. I was offering it. There we go. Already got this map? Glintstone Firefly? I don't believe I've picked that up before. Like, ever. A glintstone firefly is a firefly whose glowing tail has hardened into glintstone. Widely found in Leonia Lake. Material used for crafting items, alas. Now that its tail is glintstone, it can no longer beguile potential mates. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. No more sex for the glintstone flies. Fireflies. That's, that's kind of rude to just call them flies. They're far above flies, right? Flies are so far beneath fireflies. is isn't even funny. Malefactors ever jail. Alright, here we go. First boss fight of hopefully three. Now I gotta make sure I toy with him a little bit so we can see all his moves. A dawn thief of fire. Yeah, I'm gonna have to toy with him. <laughs> so I took like a fifth of his health with one attack. Okay. Oh, that's fancy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're doing it, guy. You're doing it. You can get me. Come on. Make some magic happen. Like literal magic. I'm sure you have more than just that one spell. Do you have a an enrage? Like if I push you past half? Oh. It's the same spell. Don't do that. Is that seriously all you do? Just explodey orbs and, and flail? That's it? I could have swore like watching other videos this guy has like fire breath or like a fire storm or something. I mean, yeah, I did it. That guy was so tough. Man, that was a hard fight. There's like a few fights here and there that are still kind of tough, and then... Like, for all the other fights... In the areas I'm exploring now, I'm just like way overpowered. The Flame of the Fell God. This legendary incantation is one of several that draws directly from the power of the Fire Giants. Releases a ball of raging fire said to be inhabited by a fell god. The fireball floats toward enemies and explodes, setting the area ablaze. Arganthi, the chief guardian of the flame, had kept his incantation a well-kept secret until it was stolen by Adon. The fell god still lurks within the fire giants. Neat. I feel like there's a lot of exploring that's not yielding anything already in this episode. Gonna be cutting some stuff. 
Yeah, it seemed like it's the entrance to a cave or something, like you should be able to get down the cliff right there. And go in somewhere. But you can't. I've tried. Oh, there's people laughing. Ouch. They're trying to bleed me. Pretty good at this game. Bleed game. Cookery. Cookery. Oh. Mushrooms. Little tits. Are there more of them? Hello? There's way too many militiamen. You just need to know when the jig is up and stop hiding in the bushes. He's coming right at me. There's no way he knows I'm here, though. No way. Oh, and that's it. You're just dead. I got a helmet. You might have thought I missed it, but I sure didn't. I added the militia min helmet. The vulgar militia helm is a helm worn by lean men. Lean, mean, and filthy militiamen. The upward extension serves to create an appearance of larger size, however slightly. That's why they do that? Okay. Thought it was a misguided sense of style, turns out it's a misguided theory of imposition. I'll, I'll just strike terror in the hearts of my enemies. When they see how tall I am wearing this helmet. I wasn't scared. I just, just want to throw that out there. Ballista bolts. Why does it say those are new? Yeah, I have ten now. Yeah. It's not new. Shut up. Oh, jeez. I thought you would die right away. Oh, oh God. <laughs> they didn't, though. They didn't. Alright, just, just me and you, big guy. Butterfly, smoldering butterfly, smoldering butterfly. <laughs> I don't know why I turned into a motorcycle. Whatever. In the past. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Cool. What do you have in your camp that I'm gonna pillage now? The Fire Monk's Prayer Book. The Fire Monk's Prayer Book is a prayer book of fire monks, you don't say, who came from the mountain tops of the giants far to the north can be given to a learned cleric domain. To gain access 
to the following. O flame, and surge, O flame. O flame, won't you please surge? I would surely appreciate it. Fire spur me. Fire spur me. That that just seems like uh, Matthew McConaughey's chant in uh, the Wolf of Wall Street. Pretty good thump though. Death has a pretty built chest. All right, now we go into the cave. Hey, I marked it pretty good. That's pretty damn close. The Lakeside Crystal Cave. What will we find in here? Besides crystals, because that seems pretty obvious. That's a trap. That's got to be a trap, right? No way there's a chest right inside the entrance and it's not a trap. Oh. Well, I stand corrected. I apologize. Thank you, game. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Who are you? It's a funny question to ask somebody after you walk into their house. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <laughs> I live here. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Hello. Ouch! I don't know how he completely flattened me to the ground by hitting me in the feet, but okay. Like that happened, I guess. Fifty beast. This is a neat looking cave. Oh, I see. It goes further down. I thought I was going to have a little more of a fight out of that guy. I'll be honest. What's in there? Oh! Little tanky, but not a big deal. What's in here? The Spear Talisman. The Spear Talisman is a talisman depicting a spear and a soldier. Enhances the counterattacks that are unique to thrusting weapons. Spears are standard weapons for soldiers in the lands between. They made it possible to respond to a ferocious foe with an equally ferocious counterattack. Ooh. Ah, exciting. You never get too lucky, you know. Gotta pick up all them silver fireflies. Fly, fly, flurfly. 
I should be killing more birds too so I can get the feet. Make them silver pickled foul foots. I can be lucky all the time. Hmm. That goes down quite a ways. Is it just for looks, though? Are you not supposed to drop down? No, there's stuff down there. That's a lot of dead people. Who's that? Thought I saw red eyes. No. Ah, no. Jeez. Root. Well, it's telling me I have too many throwing daggers, so some of them went to storage. How many do I have? I feel like I don't have them! What's down there? How do I get down there? How do I get down there, Dex? There you go. That's how you can be useful instead of whining. Tell me how I get down there. And so Dex regaled Christopher with the tail of descent. Oh. I was not looking forward to fighting five of those, or seven, or however many there were at once. Snails. Soft cotton, you say? Is there a boss down here? Somewhere? Over the rainbow? Bluebirds fly? Hello? Oh, jeez. Ow. I'll bet this place is really pretty if you light it up. Uh oh. Oh, a bloodhound. Last time I killed one of you, I only had one grave safe. I feel like your predecessor didn't move around as much, though. You're a little more wily. Yikes!
Oh, I didn't think you would reach me. I was wrong. There we go. The Cerulean Amber Medallion. I think we got the red one and the green one. Now we have the blue one. Cerulean Amber Medallion is a medallion with Cerulean Amber inlaid, you don't say. Boost maximum FP. The Erdree's old sap becomes amber, treasured as the most precious of jewels in the age of Godfrey the First Elden Lord. A primordial life energy resides inside. Whoa, dude. Wait, is this the right way? Nah, it's this way. I gotta go this way, right? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I feel like this was the right way. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. Hey, okay, this is the place that I said I was pretty sure I said looked like it should be a cave entrance that you can drop down to. I was half right. It's a cave exit. Actually, I think that just means I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> The sound cuts out in the recording. I apologize. I don't know why that's happening. Are weapons away? Fell tarnished. What do you want? I told the old hearing brute. That I possess no such medallion, or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? What? Who was your other half? I'm confused. Who's her other half? I feel like she's talking about a spouse or like a lover. Partner in life. Life partner, you know? But I, I don't know who she's referring to. I don't know! I'm sorry for whatever it is that I did. How much do we need to use the things that with the stuff trying to use over there, over thing stuff? Um. 24 faith, I'm up to uh, 16. Uh, do I just have to kill her now? Was she in love with one of the merchants, possibly? Because I've, I've actually met her, like, once or twice with the, uh, with other characters. And she hasn't said that to me I before. So I feel like I fucked I something up with her, behind. and she's not gonna be nice now. Never heard her say that before. Okay. I'm just gonna conclude that she uh, loved one of the merchants I killed. That's a bummer. A bummer that she loved one of them because they're all losers. She shouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I punched him. We're gonna fight land octopi while we're fighting each other, me and this bird. Or octopuses, I guess. 
still think that's dumb. But it's the proper pronunciation. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> cool. So it's gonna be that kind of a fight. Oh hey. What's this? Ritual pot. Neat. Now I run away fast as I can. The ritual pot. This empty pot somehow wins itself when broken. A special item with greater durability than a cracked pot. Essential vessel for crafting ritual pot items. The materials and magic sealed within deploy their effects when the pot is thrown. Hello. Chilly here, isn't it? My mistress a bit. off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian, and now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only, he too is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. Resting at an abandoned home down the way. Man, FromSoft characters always say stuff like that. Like, just over yonder, just down the way. They don't point in any direction whatsoever, and there are no paths leading away from them, so that could literally mean anywhere at all. And distance isn't even a factor. Because, like, in, in Dark Souls 2, there was one character that was like, I'm in a house, just down the way. Meet me there. And then it, it takes you, like, another ten hours of gameplay to get to where she is. And you're like, down the way, you said? You liar. What am I doing? So where's your bleed? You're still made out of flesh. There it is. Neat. The Red Feathered Branch Sword. The Red Feathered Branch Sword is a talisman adorned with red feathers once used in ancient death rituals. Raises attack power when HP is low. The heart sings when one draws close to death. And a glorious end awaits those who cling so tenaciously to life. Very well. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And uh, next time... I know, it, some people might think I'm about to say we're going to go into Rey Lucaria, but we're not. 
It's not time for that yet. We're, we're taking it slow, okay? This overly detailed playthrough, all right? We gotta be some other places to visit. We can't just go straight into the, you know, what I'm saying? We're probably gonna go just over here, like over in this area, because I, I do remember what's there. I could have swore we were already in there, but we don't have the map for that place, so I don't know. Maybe we go here, and then we run and grab the map, and then go back down over here. Because I kind of want to have the map for places I'm exploring, you know? Anyways, that's all next time. And until then, you all take care of yourselves. You have a wonderful time doing it. See you next time. Love you, goodbye!